Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. Welcome back to another flight tutorial video. Now, before we go any further, I think now's a good time, just as good as any, to talk a little bit about the rates and kind of explain that if I can, because it can be kind of confusing at first, but it's important to, to know what, I talk, what I'm talking about when I talk about rates as we move forward. So if we go into the menu here, and again, we're in the liftoff simulator, and we click on flight controller settings, it'll bring up a menu that is similar to what you would see in the beta flight configurator. That's, the, that's like the app that lives on your computer that allows you to change the settings in your quadcopter flight controller when you connect your quadcopter to it. And so you can see here what we care about is the uh, where it says RC rate, super, and max, and then RC expo. Um, the max we can't change. That just tells us what our max rates are. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about rates. It's the RC rate and the super rates. And when we talk about rates, what we're talking about is the rate of rotation of the quadcopter. And that is expressed in degrees of rotation per second. So for example, 360 uh, degrees per second would be equal to doing a full uh, 360 degree flip in one second. That's how long it would take you. It'd take you one second. So if your rate was about 720 degrees per second, then you would do a full roll in half a second, roughly. Uh, so that is that is wh what we're talking about when we talk about the rates. Now the expo does have an effect on the feel, but it won't actually change the maximum uh, speed at which your quadcopter will rotate. Now don't worry about where it says the P, I, and D because those are your your PID values that's for something else don't even worry about that um, but where it says roll pitch and yaw um, you can see that kind of carries over to the rc rate and the super rate and the rc expo great but why does all that matter basically if you have really high rates that allows you to move your quadcopter very fast but that could be bad so let me just give you an example of what i'm talking about here so let's say we um so we have a number here so we have like i think the maximum is like 2.5 or 2.3 or something um and so so if we put in 2.3 and in this simulator uh, the roll and the pitch rates are linked together, so you can't change them individually. I don't know why, because in real life, in a flight configurator, um, you would be able to change them individually. But in this case, let's say we want to have like really high rates, uh, 1,332 degrees per second. Um, the RC Expo is still 30, and you can see on this little graph here, the graph has changed, and so now the red line, which is, um, it's actually hiding the green line as well because they're the same line, it's showing that it's like going at a much steeper angle. So let's just, let's click save and we'll fly that just to show you what I'm talking about here. So let's say we come up and let's do a roll. Oh wow, that's really fast. That's a lot faster than it was before. So look how fast we're going. Like that's, uh, <clears throat> That's very, very fast, but the controls are like, it takes some getting used to because they're just so fast. And so what happens is if you have really high rates, um, especially when you're, when you're first learning how to control everything, you tend to over pitch and over roll and you just get in this bad cycle of where you're, you're going too much one way, too much the other way. So, you know, that's that that's not super great to learn with so i would definitely bring the rates you know uh way down for the for the normal rates so i'm running them at 1.2 which you can see here gives us a max of 240. now the super rate let's talk about the super rate because that can be confusing like well you have normal rates and the super rates what's the deal well the super rates are going to be they're going to increase your maximum roll rate so you will be able to roll or pitch or, or whatever faster, but only at the end of stick travel. So uh, if you look at the graph here, you can see, and the, for this one, we can actually adjust the roll and the pitch independently. So you can see that as I, adjust, as I increase the super rate, the uh, red line is, is uh, curving a lot more. So it's curving uh, towards the end and you can see how much higher uh, how much higher the max roll rate is than the pitch so now we have a lot higher super rate which means that towards 
either end of the stick travel, we're going to have a much uh, a much greater increase in the full amount of rate movement in the degrees per second for the roll. Okay, so with with those changes, let's just show you what this would look like. So uh, let's start off here, and so. Again, we have lower rates overall. So towards the center of the stick, it hasn't really changed a whole lot. But with the roll, if we get out towards the edge, we start to roll a lot faster. Let me bring it way up here so you can show so I can show you. You see, so as we get all the way out, we roll way faster than we roll before. So having super rates can be useful because maybe you do want to be able to do some some quick flips or rolls but only when your uh, stick is is like almost towards the end of travel you know kind of the end of its end of its movement and so that way that gives you more room uh to kind of have finer movements maneuver around and then do like quick little flip thingies so um it does it does it just takes some playing around to get to get it right to get the the right rates um, and to get it kind of the right feel. And so I would say just, you know, it's kind of a trial and error thing. Um, and then with Expo, Expo changes the, if, if we're talking about, if we're looking at the graph here, it changes the, uh, the flatness of the graph towards the center. And so what that means is when we increase the Expo, uh, we started out with 30 there. When we increase the Expo, it is actually, let me increase the expo of this other one so you can see it uh, better, I think, a little bit. So what it's doing is it's it's making it so that there is uh, essentially less sen sensitivity towards the center of the stick. So this is very, very high expo, but let's save it like that. And then let's uh, reset here just to kind of show you what's going on. And then, um, so for our, our pitch and roll, and you can see so like now we can move the, the stick around a lot like quite a bit and we're not getting much movement hardly at all from from our quadcopter like like you could be very sloppy with the stick but as we get out towards the side to the edge of the stick edge of the stick travel um it increases a lot like it shoots way up because especially in the roll we already had the increased super rate value and then, but even with the pitch, like we, we didn't change the amount of, of degrees per second that we're going to be moving, but we just changed kind of um, where, where we get to that point on the stick. That's kind of what Expo does. So it's okay if you don't understand this right now or, or understand like how to, how to get the right amount of rates that you want, um, but you know, you can come back and re reference this, but this way you'll kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about when I talk about rates or expo or something like that. So let's get back into our flight controller here, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna set this back um, how it was. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope this was helpful. If it was, let me know. Leave me a comment, and if you still have questions about this, leave me a comment. Maybe I or someone else will be able to help. And let's continue on to the next lesson in this FPV flight tutorial series. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again very soon in the next video.